All right. Now, we can officially kick this project off. Dominic and I are gonna strip this thing down to a bare shell, and then we're gonna load it on a trailer and take it to a chemical strip to get all the paint and all the glue out of the seams. baby. That's it. <laughs> okay, Dad, hurry up. All right, first bend on the roll cage going down right now. All right, Dom, um, so you finished the rear of the cage. What's the game plan now? Should be able to take it out of the whole car now and then actually weld it on the table. All right, we finally got our motor plate back. It is looking sick. Uh, big thanks to Steph for designing this baby and also Ferrari Steve down in San Diego at OMD. Alright guys, this is it. This is gonna be the rear trans mount. The only trans mount we're gonna use. Dude, that thing looks sick. Here we go, sweet ass. Transmission mount finished. Dom spec as usual. Steering rack and subframe mods start now. Really easy to install this stuff, a lot of adjustability. We'll see how it is for the more of the road racing or time attack side of things. So after we got the transmission in, the transmission mount, we're able to get our drive shaft length, which we sent to drive shaft shop, and they quickly turned around this custom carbon fiber drive shaft, which is super short, super light, and it's gonna work awesome for the project. And today started a bit slow. We got a couple parts we ordered aren't gonna work, super disappointing, but our seats just showed up from Ricardo, so. I think the day just got a little better. Dude. Dude. Look at that. Damn, dude. Guys, we are on to mounting the tilt and pedal box. This is the 800 series box. And what I'm really stoked on is our brand new OMP carbon fiber steering wheel and quick release hub. The shipment has arrived. 
big thanks to HGK. See if we can uh, fit that thing in here. We are running the HGK super kit, which I am super stoked on. All right, guys, 90% done with this thing. Uh, obviously, Dom has done the majority of the work and fitment, so it has come out extremely well since he is so meticulously detailed on everything. All right, guys, firewall time, baby. Friggin' sick, that came out. Damn, I know, dude. I just grabbed our custom CNC end tanks from OMD SD with the fittings, and it's time to get these things on our CSF radiator cores. straight on to the fan shroud. These are our Spall brushless fans. This is it. This is the spacer for the fan. Time for us to Try to fit these two large radiators in here somewhere. Dom's got the bumper officially sorted, all mounting points done. Half inch 065 chromoly. Everything is super strong, super light. Headlights in, baby! Just gotta get the tabs on. All right, update boys. Radiators are in. Dom has the finish mounts going on now. CSF radiators in with the custom end tanks, oil coolers done, headlights in, the, like the entire front end is dialed right now. AM stopped by to check out the progress on the Supra, but the real reason they came by was to show us the rapid prototype that they designed and 3D printed out of plastic so that we can test fit it on the Judd motor. And I think it came out phenomenal. So the front of it came out really good. We have a ton of room to pick up fresh air from the front bumper. We have plenty of clearance on the hood. All right, guys, this is it. We finally got our big Brembo brake kit. This is the GTS Systems brake kit. It's a four piston, 365 millimeter disc for the rear and a six piston, 380 millimeter for the front. So this is a pretty big brake kit. This massive piece of aluminum is gonna be our new Brembo brake brackets. Look at that beauty. Something else we can anodize now too. Boom. All right, Brembo's are on the car. I am beyond stoked on this kit. It is probably overkill for what we need, but it's gonna be phenomenal for what we're doing. Uh, four piston, 365 disc in the rear, six piston, 380 front. It's header time, boys. Dom's been cranking on this thing the last few days. Got these all tacked up. Do some finish welding after it's all kind of fitted. 3D printed, ink it on collector. Thank you to Vibrant for coming on board and supplying all of the product we're gonna be using to make the exhaust system for the Formula Supra. It's all gonna be titanium uh, from the header back.
So we're gonna do a side exit exhaust right after the X-pipe coming out each side, uh, which we think is gonna look dope. is gonna slip roll our water tank. Water tank's done, radiators are officially done. So these are our brand new, made for the Formula Supra, Rotiform Center Lock NGOs. These are gonna be for sale to the public, uh, obviously in a five lug pattern or whatever you guys need out there, but these are a, these are sweet, dude. I'm freaking pumped. Big before, this is what we need. So we're doing about 420 foot pounds. That's it, done deal. We just got our plumbing from Index Motorsports. This is like top of the line, as good as it gets as far as race car motorsport plumbing. So the car is 95% plumbed with the Index Motorsports uh, Brown and Miller setup. So if we can uh, pump some fuel out of this drum and get that thing in the radium engineering fuel cell and uh, one step closer getting this thing fired up, dude. We're here at R&D Dino and Gardena. Way beyond anything I could have imagined, especially under load. Right when it hits about 7,000, it just opens up and starts screaming like an old Formula One car, which is uh, exactly what I was hoping for. So, uh, just so many emotions and extremely happy. Uh, a couple more issues, so I'm actually really glad we came here before going straight to the track, so we can clear up those uh, those, those few issues that we have. If we didn't get the dyno graph, it did make 630 horse wheel horsepower, which is uh, right around what we expected, maybe a little bit more.
wrap boys, test day officially done. Uh, Big Willow test and also my first time on Big Willow driving, so that was really cool. And then I uh, came up here to balcony just to make sure that the car actually can slide. And obviously it does, we, have, we do have wide swap suspension on the car. And uh, I just wanna make sure throttle control was good and that was, everything was manageable. And now we are gonna pretty much just re-prep it and get ready for this action video shoot that's gonna be coming to you guys very soon.